Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Universe Sim. This is Season 2, Episode 2. Uh, and I am glad you guys have come back um, to watch some more. So, uh, right away, I want to go right to a comment that was left on the last video as of recording this video. Um, so, uh, the comment is about the Deadly Seed and whether or not it is an herb or not. So, they did change it, this patch, to an herb. Um, I wonder, was it an herb last update and I was just too stupid to notice? I'm not sure. Guess I'd have to look back and see in the past. Well, anyway, uh, this episode, we're, I'm gonna, I think that we're gonna be able to make it to electricity at least. Uh, that's what I'm gonna try for. I think we should be able to, based off of what we've been able to do in the past, but we do have a couple of other uh, research items to research in the past, so we'll have to do that as well. Um, but to get started, we're just going to do some stuff around culture and education, and then we can go back this way, and yeah, wood oven. Because that's always good to have. And we're going to need it this episode with how much food we're going to have. So, right away as well, we can see that there's a problem with water. Um, so, let's go ahead and fix that. We're just going to create quite a few of these pumps to go around. These are going to have to get upgraded as well pretty soon, but that's okay. We're also going to be mingling quite a few nuggets. Um, it's going to be important to keep this population growing. So, uh, just using the people that have already made it and using some new nuggets that have not made it before. Just remember, if you're playing, that the faster your population grows, the better you will do in the future generations. Unless, of course, you have a lot of problems with food, then uh, I would sort those issues out. So we also have quite a few residential buildings being built out here. Um, so we're going to be, ex it looks like we're, we might be expanding out this way ac around the lake. So that's good. Um, the other issue that we might come across is water from wells. We might not have enough. Um, so that one actually looked pretty good. This one's, uh, it's doing better. I mean, it's seen better. Um, let's go ahead and prepare, repair this real quick. And how's this one? Uh, they, yeah, it's seen better days as well. Um, but that's okay because we'll also be getting a lot of this water stuff. Um, in fact, we can actually just do that right now. Also, this box has finished. Um, so I'm not really sure exactly what this stuff means. But, uh, I hope that we get something good out of it. So it looks like it was something good. It looks like we got quite a bit of fuel and a little bit of wood. Well, actually, quite a bit of wood. Oh, that's good. So it was something positive. So let's also build quite a few reservoirs now. Now that we have a higher population and more buildings requiring water, water is going to go a lot faster in the winter. So I think six will do for right now. Let's also, we're getting a lot of food, so I think we, let's build a, an eatery. This will help cook the food a lot faster and Provide some water as well for our nuggets. Let's go ahead and build it right around here. There's not really a warehouse nearby, but that's okay. 
We should actually build a warehouse pretty nearby just because we also have some refinement around here. So let's build a warehouse right here as two. There we go. And I'm also seeing that crime is getting a little high. So uh, that's an, there's an easy solution to this. And that is the anti-city alley. So let's go ahead and build that as well. Um, and our air quality is a lot better right now. And it's going to get even better with this alley here. <clears throat> So something else that I've noticed is they've actually changed around the research tree. So a couple of changes that I see right in front of me is right here where it used to be logging was below this. Logging has actually moved all the way over here. So near the blacksmith. So it's going to be interesting when they actually uh, put the blacksmith in the game because they, it seems like he might have something... Uh, he or she might do something pretty important for these three things. Um, but we will see what happens with that. Um, the other thing that's changed, which I think is pretty big, is a glass factory, um, before even electricity. So we might actually see, like, a medieval or, uh, a stone age glass factory. And that is pretty exciting because that will be an entirely new looking building. Um, the other things that have changed is cement mixing. Um, it used to be all the way back here past, uh, all this stuff. Um, is this a decision? No. No, it's not a decision. Okay, good. Whew. That is good. Um, that would have sucked if that was. But, um, so that's good. That, that's not a decision. Um, let's see here. Any other changes? I think that's really it that I've noticed. Um, there's probably a couple of changes. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the fire stuff has changed. Uh, industrialization is here. Commercial, uh, steel, cable, modern bridge. Oh, yeah, bridges. That's right. So, um, where the heck are bridges? Medieval bridge right here. So, that's interesting. It feels like the medieval age is way too short. But then again, I guess it starts here. And it would theoretically end here. So I guess that's not too short. Uh, it just feels like it's lacking compared to the Stone Age. And it's also... I guess you can say the same about the modern age, so it's kind of lacking as well. Um, although, to be fair, I have not even built half of the modern age stuff and future stuff. So, but uh, so that's pretty interesting. So it's going to take us a while before we actually get logging, which is a little bit too a little bit of a shame, um, especially with our starting area with it mostly being open and not a lot of trees. Um, but that's okay. I believe that was a UFO. So we might see a UFO flying around pretty soon. Alright, so our new election has started. So we got religious focus, which is terrible. I do not like it at all. Environmental protection and food for all. Okay, so two of these are n you never go for, um, and that is food for all and religious focus. I guess if you really wanted to and you wanted to like baby feed your nuggets, you can go for religious focus. And I just saw a UFO, so I'll just go environmental protection. We don't need it, but I I I just feel like religious focus is not worth it. It slows down your research rate. That's the, like the last thing that I want. So uh, anyway. Um, you also get creator points ridiculously fast. Um, where did that UFO go? Um, there it is. All right. 
Ow, shit. Talking mushrooms. Alright, let's just repair that. Hopefully no nuggets died in that. That seems like a scene from some sort of movie. Like a UFO crashing down in a cemetery. Alright. Brand new box for us. So somebody can start researching that. Um, we can also make a school now. So we can actually start educating some nuggets. Um, now we don't need educated nuggets right now. So I'm just going to build one. Um... You know, I think educated, uh, yeah, we're going to need start needing educated nuggets as we get into medieval, but right now we just don't need them. Alright, so we can just go ahead and finish all these upgrades. Um, so that's good. You know, a little bit of uh, house cleaning going on on our research page. Alright, so we can actually upgrade our eateries now. So we'll go ahead and do that. We have enough bricks and we have enough wood planks, so no reason to not really do it. Whoa! They have a statue of an elephant! Alright, this is definitely the, uh, the house that everybody wants to go to. They are definitely the wealthy, the wealthy family. Alright, environmental protection. Like I've said, it really doesn't do anything for us right now. Because we've already been doing so well with the planet. But, yeah, it is what it is. Guess we're doing even better now. Alright, so the school's made. Um, so class is in session. All right, so the school is made and class is in session. Um, so we are going to start educating some nuggets um, for those incredible engineering degrees and all sorts of other exciting technologies. So we are going to need another um, engineering hut over here. So let's go ahead and build one right here just for the school and whatever we build out here. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like one of our eateries has been fully upgraded. Uh, possibly both of them, actually. Yep, it looks like both of them have been upgraded. So they are going to be able to cook faster and uh, prepare more food. Alright, and we can also upgrade the wells. This is extremely useful considering we are having countless problems with water shortage. So, we might actually want to look into building some new wells. Um, so, let's go and see. Oh, yay, the display is actually working. So, we can actually see where it will be useful and utilize the most efficiently. There's actually water all over the place. So,. I think that might have to do with the rain, too. Um, so if there is rain in a certain area, it might make it so that there's more water there. Which is kind of interesting. It's almost like treating like the whole planet as a lake. Um, but each area of the soil is treated differently. Um, so each area, like a little small patch will be able to hold a certain amount of water and it, when it maxes out it might spread or something on the lines of that, I don't know. Oh, you're looking a little green. Let's go ahead and heal you up. There's quite a few nuggets that have drank from the lake recently. So yeah, we'll either have to take uh, increase our health care or just create some more wells and I think the best way is just to create some more wells so let's go ahead and make one right here 
So we are almost through all of the Stone Age upgrades. We're really close. Um, but we still have a little bit to get through. But I wouldn't be surprised if we make it to Medieval Age. Um, I think that seems like a realistic... Um, realistic goal for this episode. So many nuggets are drinking from the lake. We'll go ahead and create a, a well out here as well. I realize that these residential buildings are a little bit far away, so. Well, our population is looking real incredible right now. Um, food is, you know, uh, doing well. Um, it is kind of equal to our population, so it's not at that point of it being greater than our population. That might obviously be due to it just being winter and we're not really doing anything about it. Um, but we are, we do seem to be making a constant flow of it, so I'm not worried there yet. We'll see if it does decrease faster and if it is less than it is now next year, then we'll have a problem. All right, so this box has gotten researched. <clears throat> so the surface of the box is inscribed with the mysterious markings. The box glows with a green aura of fatality. Metallic sound is coming out of the box. So none of these sound like they're bad. Um, vitality sounds good. Uh, metallic sound sounds like metal. So I think we're good to open it. And did we just get another nugget? Not sure. We got steel beams and... Oh, we got chemicals. That's what it was. Vitality, I see. Um, can't... There we go. Chemicals, yep. That makes sense because we use chemicals to produce clones. Oh wow, this is a uh, this is not a setup I've seen before. The house is uh, actually in the center instead of the corners. That's kind of cool, and it looks like it loops kind of around, kind of forming an eye. Uh, we can see kind of a sun here, and they planted a tree. Nice. I wonder, can we interact with these trees? No, you cannot. So, those trees cannot be cut down. They cannot be used for any resources. They're just for uh, visual representations. Alright, so let's see what we've researched so far. So, we finished all this research. We have finished all the research here that I'm wanting to do right now. Um, I don't really care about the ministries yet. Um, and then we're about to finish all of the medical research for the Stone uh, Stone Age. Um, we also have Dash of Lightning to do. Uh, a couple of things here and there. Uh, we could do Pulley System. That would actually probably be pretty good for... Uh, well water capacity, even though all of our wells are not even reaching capacity yet. Um, so, there's that. Alright, so woodlined reservoirs. So we can go ahead and upgrade these. We don't really have any wood planks and uh, uh, bricks yet. Well, any, at least right now. But, um... We'll get, we'll get them back, you know, we'll take, let them take their time. Lots of residentials being built. Um, it's starting to look like a real city. It's kind of crazy how fast we've expanded in just two episodes. Just about two hours of gameplay. Well, not even yet. So I think we can afford to make one of each of these right now. 
And I say that just so that we that way we can speed things up. Um, and also because we have so many unemployed nuggets right now. We also actually have a couple of educated nuggets. Um, we don't need any more required educ- We don't have- need any more educated nuggets, so, um, that's not really- It's not really particularly needed, um, right now, but we'll get there. Alright, so we're building right now <coughs> some more stone refin- uh, another stone refinery and also another wood refinery. Um, I've noticed that we're kind of running low on both wood planks and bricks. And also, we have tons of nuggets for unemployment, so it, you know, will be fine. Um, we also are going to start upgrading some reservoirs now. Um, water's not really maxing out yet, but it will probably soonish. Um, with some more pumps or stone uh, upgrades. Residential's kind of getting built all over the place right now. Um, which is fine. Um, I, I, you know, there's quite... Yeah. Kind of wish you could, like, designate areas for residential. But it's alright. You know, like this one. I kind of feel like it's a little out of place with all these refinements over here. But it's okay. We also have a box right here. I did not notice that. Let's go ahead and snag that. Here we go. They can start researching that. And this one's all research. So, uh, let's go ahead and open that one. Alright, so our nugget population is getting pretty high. Um, we're gonna, we're, we've broken about, well, we have about a hundred and... Wait. Yeah, a hundred and four. Wow. Woo, it's getting too late for me. Um, all right, and we can upgrade the, f uh, the cemetery now as well. You know, I really don't like how our engineers just basically sleep on the job right now. All right, so we're going to get divine punishment now. We're going to get ministry of water and the pulley system. Um, I really just kind of wanted pulley system. I don't really care about Ministry of Water. Also, pulley system really isn't going to even, like, really help us that much, but it's alright. Our wells do seem like they're doing a lot better now, though. There's just a few that are low. But it's not like all of them are. So people will always have some water to go to, which is fantastic. All right, so let's also get a dash of lightning to increase our move, uh, movement speed of our nuggets. Because they do not run fast enough. And it looks like um, we have a little bit of a crime problem, and happiness is not that high. So, the answer is going to be a park. So let's go ahead and build a park wherever we can fit it. Sure, right there looks like a good place. And it looks like they're starting to upgrade the reservoirs right now. So they're just waiting on a couple of bricks here and there. Um, a couple of them are actually already upgraded, as you, we can see by this one. So that's very nice. I'm really trying. I'm really trying to get to the medieval age. But I do kind of want to make sure we get everything first, you know. We're starting to make progress into the future again. I 
feel like, yeah, if we just make parks to deal with crime and happiness, then we're probably never going to have to worry about the planet condition. Parks are just the answer. Instead of rainforests in the world, we just need parks. Alright, so we have Divine Punishment now. So let's go ahead and go for Mathematics. That'll give us an Engineer's Hut upgrade, which will allow us to hire another Engineer at each of the huts, which will be extremely useful as that will just make them so they can actually repair stuff. Ah, so I see. I see now. Um, it actually is starting to make sense why the glass factory is here. It's because we unlocked the gas mine here. Um, and if we remember, the ga glass factory just needs gas to run. Um, so this version of the ga glass factory doesn't actually need electricity. Um, it just runs off of burning gas. So that's, that's that makes sense. Um, yeah, right now we're just waiting for research. I'm just kind of repairing things as they need it. Kind of helping out the engineers. Um, but it's taking a little bit for this Ministry of Water to be researched. It's one of the reasons why I hate researching the ministries. Because they take so freaking long. So this is like all of our reservoirs are being upgraded. So that's good. Uh, it's going to help with our water supply. Um, we can actually build a couple more pumps now as well. You know, this water supply is not going to be going quick. Yeah, so I don't think fish population, you know, multiplies yet. Which is a shame. All of the fish are sterile. That brings up a point, though, of, uh, we might as well start fishing in this little pond. We also might want to get another farm pretty soon. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that right now. In fact, let's get two. You know, we don't want what happened last season to happen, where we're having a lot of food problems because we weren't ahead of it. You know, we started falling behind, and it was really difficult to get ahead of it again. Alright, so elderly assisted living, right to arms, and vaccination. Um, elderly assisted living... Uh, you know, is... Is fine. I think it's pretty useful. Uh, it helps expand the population, also increases happiness. It does make it so that people could die faster. But, you know, in that age, you know, who, uh, you know, they, they want to have fun, too. So... We'll allow them to have that fun. And, you know, I'm happy to say that we're doing really well with injured and sick nuggets. You know, nobody's injured and sick right now. Um, if we check the hospital, it has plenty of medicine. It has tons of herbs. Um, if we check our total collection, we have five. So we have five overflow right now. You know, which is pretty good. And actually, this is pretty cool. It actually tells you the production per minute now. That's pretty nifty. Required for construction, 16. Total stored, 5. That's cool. I wonder if it tells you if something is... No, it doesn't tell you if something is being used. Required for construction, 56. Huh. That's pretty cool, though. All right, so we've got some uh, wolves attacking pretty soon. 
So that means our... Oh. That bugged out a little bit. Huh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to escape that. That's a little annoying. But yeah, so wolves are going to be attacking kind of soon. Uh, we should have enough people to take care of it. Um, you know, and if we don't, then a couple of people die. Oh. Yep, look at that. Look at them go. Alright, come on, hunters. Oh, jeez. A lot of people are going to be dying. Alright, killed one. Oh, killed one of the hunters. Okay, killed another. Killed another. Nice. So we lost a few. You know, not the worst thing. Oh, actually, we lost quite a bit. Huh. Well, that's okay. Alright, so we have a brand new farm. So let's go ahead and grow some manbrew. Manbro. Ooh, a lot of people are dying right now. What the heck is going on? More people are die out and dying due to wild animals? No, there's no way. There's no way 40 nuggets have died due to wild animals. Where were all the wild animals? There's no way. I don't believe it for an ins for a second. Our nuggets are just a bunch of wimps. All right, so the surface of the box inscribed with mysterious markings. Your nuggets' energy drains as they approach the box, so that means we'll lose two hundred creator points. Your nuggets hear a desperate banging inside. Okay, so it's going to give us some more nuggets. It gave us one more nugget, it looks like. And it gave us a pyramid, and it did decrease it. So, 200 creator points, one nugget inside. And there's a mysterious blueprint in the box. Alright, so we're actually doing pretty good on research now. So that is good. So let's go ahead with biology. And farm upgrade. That is going to be really good. Um, and plus five years to lifespan, which is also fantastic. So, and this is still stuck here. I guess that's just going to be there for the rest of the video. Exciting stuff. So yeah, it's about the time of the year that I said for, uh, last year um, to check on our food, and it has increased. Uh, and it's a, you know, it's greater than our population. So in that aspect, we've been doing pretty well. Um, so I'll, probably a lot of that food is going to be eaten throughout the winter, but we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> There's only 444 fish in this little lake. That's going to get fished out pretty pretty quickly. And look at our civilization and how much it has expanded. You know, just, just as a video. So we've gone, you know, so this was the border uh, for the, the start of this video. And it kind of came around kind of like so. And it has expanded like this much, you know? That's some good expansion. Yeah, we have a lot of dead bodies all around. It's gonna take him a while to get all those bodies. I could help out. Just don't feel like it though.
All right, so summer has arrived, and as we can see, there, we actually gained food throughout the winter. So I don't know how we did it, but we did. All right, so iron mine. Let's go ahead and get some iron going. You know, this is a prime location. If we can fit it in here. I mean, it's not the best, but it might have to do. Ah, I wish I could click on that one. So annoying. But so we can also up start upgrading our pumps. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a slow process, so I'm just gonna do three at a time. Wait, where did I place this? Oh, it's over here. Whoa, I was, I was confused, I guess. We don't really have any other wealthy plots of residential. This seems to be the only one that seems to be extremely wealthy, at least. That actually didn't take too long for them to start building these. So that's good. It's not like we really need them, though, but that's okay. Alright, so we can start upgrading uh, engineer's huts. It will require some metal, um, something that we don't really have right now. Um, well, we don't have at all. Um, but that's okay, we'll, we'll be getting it very soon. You know, actually just came up and running. So as people get hired here, it'll be faster, it'll be produced faster. All right, so you guys, it's kind of getting late for me. Um, I have made it as far as I can uh, in this video. Um, so let's look at the research real quick and see what we've gotten up to. So as we can see, I've basically gotten up to this point uh, with starting to research. And we have basically finished all of the Stone Age research. Um, there's a few things here and there, like for instance this stuff, um, just because I didn't really bother, want to bother with the reinforced shelter. Um, and then also the ministries. Uh, I think that's the only ministry I haven't actually researched so far yet. Um, but, you know, uh, next episode we'll be definitely getting into electricity and also starting into the medieval age. So be excited for that, and that's going to be posted tomorrow, so you guys won't have to wait very long. Um, and let's see here. Um, we, I know, residential has been expanded. We've been expanding food. We've been expanding uh, water as well. Um, you know, water's looking fantastic. I don't think there's ever going to be a time when we're actually going to be going through all of that. Um, we're also starting to get metal now. Um, it's a little bit of a slow process, yes. Um, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, we have some new farms. We had wolves attack that apparently killed tons of our nuggets, but I, I think it only killed like maybe 20, if that. Um, so yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, answers, anything of the sorts, if you guys notice that I missed something, uh, shout at me in the comments and, you know, whatever. Um, and, yeah, if you guys are new and you guys liked what you saw, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm posting now from Monday through Friday. Um, pretty much all universe sim content, so look out for that. Um, thanks you guys so much for watching, and have a fantastic day.